Greetings, my scattered sisters and brothers in the Lord. Trust that wherever you are scattered today, you know the Lord is watching over you, and the Lord is with you, and the Lord is keeping you. We continue on in chapter 10 of the Gospel of John today, and Jesus is in a slightly different setting. He's still in the temple. We're not sure how much time has passed, but it's the Feast of Dedication. And Jesus is asked whether or not he's the Christ, tell them plainly. And he says, I've already told you, but you didn't believe. And from here, Jesus goes on to further develop the shepherd sheep imagery. Uh, those who don't believe in him aren't his sheep. And he emphasizes that the father has given him sheep, that his sheep know his voice, his sheep listen to him, and that he knows his sheep and that he gives his sheep eternal life, that he will not allow anyone to destroy them. And this is kind of a new development in Jesus' teaching in his use of this imagery. He drives home the point that no one can take the sheep that the Father has given him, no one can take the sheep from his hand. He asserts that no one can take the sheep from the Father's hand, for the Father is greater than all and that he and the Father are one. Now, we have seen this emphasis of Jesus' oneness with the Father. And so what's kind of new today is the emphasis that no one can take his sheep from his hand, that the Father is greater than all, and Jesus shares in that power. So I want us to kind of drill down there for a moment. Now, I know this passage kind of raises a lot of questions in terms of no one being able to take Jesus' sheep out of his hand, no one snatching them from him. Uh, some would say that right here we have kind of the center of the debate about once saved, always saved, versus can you lose your salvation? And I don't think a five-minute YouTube is the place to try to settle that question. And even if I settled it, I'm not sure how much good it would do anyone. Uh, I simply want us to focus on kind of that good news, that assuring news, that no one can snatch us from Jesus' hand, that nothing can destroy us, that Jesus is the shepherd that gives us life. Jesus is the shepherd that keeps us through everything. So just think about your own life and how Jesus has kept you. I can think about mine where, you know, Jesus has been that good shepherd that has kept me through uh, times of despair, times of grieving, times of depression, times of disappointment. Uh, I think about some hard days when I first moved to Kansas City, and Jesus kept me through that. I think about my mom's passing, and Jesus kept me through that. I think about some times of disappointment where I thought maybe life would go one way and it went a very different way. Uh, Jesus has kept me through that. Jesus keeps us through times of temptation and even failure. And Jesus keeps us through times of depression. He keeps us through times of success. Jesus is strong. And he has a, a, a good grip on us not against our will. Uh, we listen, we follow, but even in those times when it seems that uh, life is too much and the things that we're facing are too much, Jesus keeps us and keeps giving us life so that those things that look like they might be too much, they don't destroy us. But somehow Jesus redeems all things, and he holds us, and he holds us together. He keeps us, and we find that we are, we are alive because our good shepherd has cared so well for us. So I don't know where you're at. I don't know what you might be going through. I don't know what you might be facing. But I do know that Jesus keeps us. And so... Go forward with confidence that our good shepherd has the power and the will to keep us no matter what we might be facing. He will give us life.
God bless. Have a great day and know that you're being kept.